Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to the best free Unity assets for August, September 2023, where I show you some of the best free models, editor extensions, things to expand your Unity game for absolutely free. I'll leave all the links in the description for you to check all of these out and there's over 80 for this month. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. There's also a free Unity publisher asset for this week, which is a Toon style asset. There's also loads of links in the description for loads of bundles, savings across Fanatical, Humble and the Unity store and I'll put everything below so you never miss out. So number one is we have the free scavenger 3D model which is fully rigged and animated in the style of a homeless human and its poly count is around 20,000 with 4k textures. This could be retargeted and other animations could be added to this model. The next two are from the same developer and they're called the military free and the fantasy free asset packs. These are a selection of 26 different models in each suitable for any specific platform. The military pack contains barrels, sandbags, tanks and other stuff in a nice unique style and also the fantasy one concludes trees, buildings, cats and marketplace stalls. Next one is the free sparrow modular spaceship and this is from a bigger pack and it seems quite a popular one on the store and it has three modules, 20 different examples, 10 color variants, 2k textures, lots of different things and it also includes bonus asteroids, space mines and other stuff and it could be a great way to look at how to make your own stylized spaceship. The next one is something called Prime Tween, which is a way to tween, similar to maybe like Do Tween, which you could use a single line of code to do it. So you can use easing, you could do shakes, callbacks, sequences, inspector integration, coroutines, and stuff all with a single line of code. Really easy to implement. It allows you to do those simple features one line of code with a lot of great performance. The next one is the Fantasy Map Assets Pack Light. This is a cool little asset which includes different backgrounds, overlays, islands, icons and trees to help you create your own map in this fantasy setting style. The next one is the Grid Based Movement Controller and this is something which is a head start for any dungeon crawling style game. Very classical and it moves in a grid based format and you can set these based on the tiles and could be really useful. Next one is Limitless Animated 3D Models by Anything World. I'm gonna have to test this one out specifically, but it does suggest that you can use machine learning to create 3D models which are fully animated. So you can have humanoid, insects, anything that flies, swimmers, vehicles, anything from a range of hard service and organic and it comes with animations throughout. The next one is the something called the Ragdoll Helper, and this allows you to create and delete ragdolls from humanoid models. You can move, scale, and rotate colliders, and you can set the actual character joints to be able to control how the ragdoll will happen. The next one, which seems like a really useful one, is called the Missing Reference Finder. A lot of the times you get those null ref kind of errors in Unity, and sometimes you don't know where they're located, and this is a tool which allows you to find exactly where those runtime errors are coming from, which specific asset that it might be on. The next one is the modular to-do lists, which is a really cool management tool. This is a really nice inspector where you can add icons, images, quotes, and different things to change the color. So you can utilize easy organization, you can use Unity references, you can customize the look and feel of everything, and full source code to be able to customize this for yourself. The next three are from the same developer, the Fat Frog Studio, and these are their artwork packs, which have 20 different portrait packs, including some ultimate creature artworks, some stylized RPGs, and some unique and unusual grenade variants. The next one is the City People Light, and it's a free sample of a low poly style city characters. These are handcrafted in a very specific style. They have eight rigged characters, all with humanoid systems, interchangeable textures, really small dimension in textures, around 2000 in average triangle counts, and could be very useful if you wanted a sort of sim building game, I feel the style would suit. Then the next one is something called Traffic Cars, and this is a low poly set of cars, which are 14 different styles, all with PBR textures at 2K resolution, with around 3000 polygons, and it's a different set whether you need a family saloon, a sedan, sports cars, taxis, and other stuff from there. The next one is the Stereo Portals VR. Now this is meant to be specifically for VR, but I think this could be useful for any other project too. And it's creating portals where you can see using render textures the actual thing that you're going to potentially 
Teleport 2. The next one we've got is the Color Palette of version 2. And this is an easy way to create color palettes if you ever design a game and you want to remember what colors that you're actually using. It's a great way to have a pick a tool to remember maybe what you used for UI, what you used for your terrain, to keep the core elements and the house style similar across the entire game. And the last one is the Super Casual Shooter. And this has a bunch of different templates to allow your character to do loads of different things. It includes a basic first burst controller to move around, look around and jump. You've got the ability to collect items, switch weapons, drop them, have to be able to control and ride a hoverboard. You can have explodable game objects. You can throw grenades, remote controlled explosives. There's enemy drones that you can fight against. Three different guns with different shooting mechanics. So be sure to check all these out and I'll put every single link in the description that we featured today and the list to the 80 assets that you can find. And be sure to check out all the deals, the free asset on the Unity store and loads of stuff that's down in the description. Do not miss out on a single thing. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Big thank you to Peter Stein and Mike Cullen, Thanchu and Isidora Negri for their amazing support. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.